everyone! It's great to share this time with you today, worshipping God together with our families and exploring the Bible together. Now, really excited to be sharing with you the story of Daniel today, and we're going to explore what we can learn about Daniel and our faithful God. So, I'm going to read you the story of Daniel and the lion's den from the Beginner's Bible. But if you want a more detailed version, I've put a link on the website to a more detailed version that you can read together or you can read it from your bibles and you can find it in daniel chapter 6 verses 1 to 28. so i hope you're sitting comfortably and let's read the story together daniel and the lion's den darius became the new king of babylon daniel was his chief helper the king's other helpers did not like Daniel. They said to the king, you are such a wonderful king. You should make a new law that for the next 30 days, everyone must pray only to you. If they disobey, they will be thrown into the lion's den. King Darius made the new law, but Daniel kept praying to God because Daniel loved God. The king's helpers caught him praying. Oh dear. They told King Darius, Now you must throw Daniel into the lion's den. The king knew he had been tricked, but he had to obey his new law. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, but he was not afraid. He knew God would take care of him. King Darius told Daniel, I hope your God will save you. That night, the king could not sleep. He was too worried about Daniel. At sunrise, the king hurried to the lion's den. Has your God saved you from the lions? He called. Yes, answered Daniel. My God sent his angel to protect me. So Daniel returned to the palace. Then King Darius ordered everyone to honour and respect God. I hope you enjoy listening to the story of Daniel. He had to be really brave, didn't he? He had to make the right choices and he had to trust God would protect him. But he didn't worry about what the consequences were going to be because he knew he could trust God. So what we can do now, when, when, now you've listened to the story, as a family, you can have a go at the discussion questions that I've put together for you on one of the links. And the first set of questions is all about Daniel and the choices that he made and, what, and how God helped him. I wonder if, if I was Daniel, would I be able to be as brave as him? Would I be able to have enough faith to keep praying, even if it meant I was going to be thrown to the lions? When you've talked about Daniel, maybe as a family you could start sharing some of your experiences of when you've had to make scary or tricky choices. For example, telling a friend to stop being mean to somebody else, even if it might mean that you don't, you're not friends anymore. I wonder how that made you feel. And I wonder what the, what the consequences were of that. So as adults and as children, we can talk about our experiences and, and what's happened. And you can talk about what future choices you might need to make and what we can do to help us. We can read the Bible because the Bible helps us to know how to live. This is the, one of the most important ones. Pray about it. Pray to God about the choices you need to make and ask God for that courage that you need to make those right choices like Daniel did. You can trust in God like Daniel did. You can also talk about it with someone you trust and you can pray together about it, asking God to help you to be brave and make those right choices. And then you can remember our memory verse for today, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. So when you've had a go at these discussion questions as a family, We've got loads of different crafts that you can choose from. And the first one that we've got on here is called Inside My Heart. So what we can do first is we can think about Daniel's heart. 
Daniel's heart totally belonged to God. What kind of things do you think might have been found in Daniel's heart? For instance, love for God, or loyalty, or courage. And then you can think about your own hearts. You could write down those things or qualities that you'd like to have in your heart. And you can write them on small bits of paper. And that's just what Rachel's done. Rachel, what kind of ideas did you write on your slips of paper? Well, um, I put bravery and perseverance. Oh, those are good ones to do. Yeah. So now you've written those, what Rachel can do is that she's drawn a heart on her envelope and then we're going to put those ideas inside the envelope. But you can also decorate it more. Yeah, you can decorate more. It's just done one for heart on this one. because She's done other crafts as well. Yeah. But it's just to give you an idea. So you can draw a heart on there, put your, your uh, qualities inside. As many as you and, want. And close it up. And it's like we're saying, we want these qualities inside our hearts. And it's like what Daniel had in his heart, we want in our heart. Exactly. So you could do it like that. Or what you could do is you could draw a big heart. So this is especially for you little ones. You could draw a big heart. And then you could maybe draw some pictures, couldn't you, of some, of some qualities that you'd like. So you could maybe draw yourself being kind to your brother or sister. Or um, helping, a, helping somebody at home couldn't you? Or showing love to others. You could draw those pictures on the inside of your heart. Now, Rachel, you did something else, didn't you? What part yeah. did you do? I've done an origami heart with some decorations on. Oh, so how did you know to draw that, Rachel? How did you know how to make that? Um, well, I went on YouTube and there was a video of how to make an origami heart. And there will be a link yeah, on Yeah, there's a sheet. link on here, look. Um, so if you type that in... Or click on it. You can just click on it. Or click on it. Um, then it'll come up to the first one um, and then I thought, oh, well, I've decorated it and I thought, oh, if we're talking about what we want in our heart and what Daniel's got in his heart, why don't I write down some things and put it inside? So, so there's a little pocket, isn't there, on the Yeah, back. there's a little pocket in the back. Right, so what are we going to put inside so your heart then? I've got kindness. Right, so let's put kindness inside the heart. Courage. Good one. Loyalty. Yeah, Daniel had to be loyal to God, yeah. didn't he? Bravery, because he had to be brave because he got thrown to lion's mm. den. And he Can knew... always, we all do the bit of bravery, can't yeah. we? Yeah. And perseverance, because even though, even though Daniel knew that if he kept praying to God, um, he would get thrown in a lion's den, but he persevered he did he kept going kept, didn't we and yeah. again that's something that's really important yeah. isn't it perseverance so Rachel's put all these seasons inside of her heart and it's really important that whenever you when you finish one of these craft activities is that as a family you can pray together asking God to put these qualities in your hearts okay and then it's also a really good thing to encourage each other so if I was to see Rachel persevere in something, I can say, well done, Rachel, for persevering. I can see that that, that quality is in your heart. Yeah. And it helps each other. You can help one another to keep going with these yeah. qualities that we want in our hearts. Thank you, Rach. Okay. But it can be really hard sometimes, can't it, to make the right choices? I bet it was really hard for Daniel to keep going. He did persevere and had to be really brave, but it must have been really tricky. And it can be really tricky for us as well. But just like Daniel, we're not alone when we make these choices and when we have to do these really tricky things, because God is with us. And today's memory verse helps us to remember that God is our superhero. So why not you dress up as a superhero and there is a link on the craft page for how to make a, su a superhero mask. So why don't you dress up as a superhero and learn our memory verse so you can assume the superhero pose and say the memory verse. Zephaniah 3.17, the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. So when you're feeling scared about something or you're worried about making the right choice, you can remember today's memory verse and that will help you. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the other activities that we've got on here. So other things that you can do is role plays. It's a really good thing to do to 
uh, remember what happened in the story and to remember um, how the characters felt and what they did and how God was our superhero. Role play the story to help you remember those really important things. So you can uh, make some stick puppets. And the templates for these are on one of the links. And you need to, or you can use some cardboard from cereal boxes to make it a bit stiffer and to make yeah, sticks. So they're not or, floppy. Yeah, or if you've got lollipop sticks, make sure they're cleaned and dry first and you can use those. Yeah, we usually have plenty of advice for yeah. sticks, don't we? Yeah. Mm. But we, we use cards this time, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. So you can make them. Or, or you can make some role play masks and act out the story. Yeah. That could be really good fun to do with your family. Yeah. Okay, or what you could use, you could use small worlds. If you've got any small world um, characters, figures, like um, the lions and beautiful yeah, people, people, that kind of thing, like and you can, you can tell the story using those. Okay? Or another thing you can do is you can make Play-Doh figures. And if you go online, there's loads of recipes for how to make um, Play-Doh. So that could be a really good fun activity to do as well. So what else have we got on here? Right, so we've got all the memory verses on there as well, okay, and your superhero. Um, and also there's the link if you want to watch the whole story of Daniel on the Beginner's Bible. It's about half an hour long and there's some songs on there, right, which is yeah. there as well. Okay, so you can watch that. Um, I've made you some uh, word searches. So we've got an easy one or and we've got a hard, a hard one. one. And then there's also a crossword that you can do as well. Okay, there's some clues to help you remember the story. Okay, and then what else have we got in here? Oh, got some songs. yes, the song. Now there's this, especially for the little ones. If you know the tune to London's Bridge, um, we've recorded um, a song that tells the story of Daniel using the tune from London's Bridge. And there's loads of actions to go with that, yeah. aren't there, Rachel? We've made some, but yeah. you can also make up your own. Yes, yeah, so if you want to have fun making up your own actions, that would be cool as well. And then really if you good. can, send us a video so we can watch it. That would be really good. Oh, and also send us pictures of all of your yeah. crafts that you make as well. That would be really and good to also, see. We've so also you can, got two other songs. So you can do that. That would be really good to do. And then the two worship songs that we've chosen today that you can do with your families are All Through History, yeah. that's the one that goes, Now I built the most enormous boat, I kept the best animals afloat. And the other one is, is nothing's, nothing's too big, big, big voice power. Okay, and because these two songs have got loads of actions, we've also recorded videos for those as well. So if yeah. you want to remember what the actions are, then just click on those links as well, and then you'll be able to watch them as well and do all the actions. So, I think that's everything that we've got on our craft sheet. All right, so we hope you have loads of fun doing these craft activities and they get loads out of reading the story and role-playing it and talking about it with your families. But remember, the most important thing is to remember how to make the right choices and to trust God and know that God is with us. He never leaves us and never. he is mighty to save. So let's finish with a prayer, shall we? Dear God, thank you that we've been able to t spend this time together and that we can spend time together with our families reading the story of Daniel and learning about how he was brave and courageous, that he persevered making the right choices and that you were with him and you kept him safe. Help us to remember that you are with us always, that we can read your Bible and we can pray and we can talk to others to help us make the right choices and that we can remember that you are our God and you are mighty to save. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Have loads of fun, guys. Hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.